I will never get sick of waking up to this view. And all these kitties. And this view. Vlogmas. It feels so Christmassy being in a, a snuggly robe after taking a shower. Look, it's starting to look like people live here. Oh my god, how pretty. So cute in here. I don't know how much I showed you of this yet, but um, this reindeer guy's going outside today. That penguin guy's going outside today. Um, this is coming together. I want to put this mirror up above the couch. The style is not what it's going to be permanently. This is like a little bit too contemporary for me, but I think it looks nice for the Christmas time and to ha look at how pink it is. This went from looking kind of masculine a couple of weeks, like a week ago. Oh my God, we lived here a week already. What? There's still so many boxes, but um, this went from looking so masculine to looking super feminine just by adding some pink pillows and blankets and fluffy stuff. What else are we doing? Oh yeah, so yesterday we figured out where we want all the lights to go outside and then today we're actually gonna put them up and I gotta go to the post office to pick up our mailbox key so we can actually check our mail for once. Um, and I gotta make some returns at Target, which will probably end up being exchanges for something else. Target, please notice us. Oh yeah, we have to record one more episode of Shit They Don't Tell You Tonight. And I think that's my whole schedule. So no need to watch any further, I guess. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> So I went back to Target to return three sets of lights and I came back with a full shopping cart and I realized that 99% of moving I think is just going back and forth to Target. So I went back to Target to return three sets of lights and I came back with a full shopping cart and I realized that 99% of moving I think is just going back and forth to Target. Side note, look at these mountains. Wow, cool. they're huge. Hey, mountain, you're fucking huge. Those are way bigger than the ones that were next to us in LA. All right, Ray's here and he brought his son and they are gonna, they said they're gonna plow through setting up these lights. So I gotta see this because I would not be able to plow through any of this. It's a really sleepy day today. I was like, I passed out on the couch and then I got up and I was like, I could literally sleep for another week. I don't even know what's happening. So tired. I think it's just like the exhaustion, it's like mentally and physically exhausting. Like both of them are exhausting when you're moving uh, and and also figuring out Christmas at the same time. Like there's like probably a thousand things running through my mind at any given moment. Like we have a gift exchange coming up in Santa Barbara in two days that I have to buy presents for and wrap them. <laughs> and. We also are traveling to Santa Barbara, so I gotta pack for that, and we have to finish recording episodes, and the house looks like this, and um, there's so much left to unpack still, but then also we're buying new stuff because Christmas, and, and then Christmas, and, and then I'm ordering stuff for the podcast room um, on Wayfair, and I'm trying to balance all our finances before the end of the year because like tax write-offs and you know your IRA contributions and make sure that's all settled, and there's just so many, and then the pool guy, and then the lawn guy, and then the, and then the IRS owes me money, and the, where is the check? Is it going to the old place, and the bank's sent my card to the wrong place and then I got a package that they said came here but didn't come here and I had to be on the phone with them and then there's pet stains on the carpet on the um there's like there's you know Joe Pete on the couch and we have a warranty for that so I'm scheduling that guy to come in and, and then I'm like kind of like dreaming of like the renovations that I want to do in the new year, which I know I should put on pause but it's really hard to stop thinking about that. And window treatments should I like hurry to get some <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna go take another nap. Oh yeah, and I checked my mailbox because I got the key today and there was no mail. Zero mail inside. Zero. Look at this. Look at these guys. This is Josh. He plays poker. Wow, that was that was really fast. I gotta hand it to you. That was like an hour? Not even an hour. 
Look, like it wasn't even an hour. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Hello, good morning, happy Vlogmas. It is insanely stormy outside. It's like very, very windy, lots of clouds, thundering, supposed to pour today. See, you complain about the dry weather and then you get a downpour. I don't actually mind this weather. It would be perfect if I could just sit inside all day by the fire reading a book. That sounds absolutely lovely. But we can't do that because we have a gift exchange to go to tomorrow that I need to shop for gifts for. Like, come going to the deadline. So, I'm gonna go shopping today. I think Target might be a good place to go again. We're just gonna go to Target every day, get ready for it. I would go to somewhere nice, you know, nicer to shop for gifts, but the particular people I'm shopping for, one just had a baby and she requested mommy stuff, which I feel like Target has such a good selection of. And then the second friend asked for a hair dryer. So, Target. Sounds good for that. And then also at Target, uh, there's a huge kids section. Might as well just get a bunch of gifts for all my nieces and nephews. There's a kitty section. Get some gifts for all the kitties. I also drew my grandpa's name for our, our family gift exchange. So other than Amazon, I don't know what else has like older man stuff that men would like. Maybe a hardware supply store? I don't know. We're just gonna go to Target again. And uh, and then also I'm gonna try to hit up a Bed Bath & Beyond <laughs> cause it's a freaking party channel, okay. Because I got curtains, but I didn't find curtain rods long enough for the windows that I bought curtains for. So I'm gonna see if Bed Bath & Beyond has that. Bed Bath & Beyond also has blinds. So I think a few of these windows I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna slap some blinds on just to, you know, not have the whole fishbowl look going on. At nighttime, it feels very much like a fish a fishbowl in the air. Blinds would be nice. So we're gonna do that and holy shit. All these boxes that just got flown everywhere. Damn. I'll see you at Target. I haven't even hit the gift section yet. This is all all window blinds, window curtains, and shower stuff. Oh my gosh, wow. Okay, another $1,000 Target trip later. Most of it is for stuff for the house, a thousand curtains, a thousand window treatments, basically. Uh, between curtain rods, curtains, blinds, shower curtains, shower towel mats, oh my god, that just, Moving is expensive. But we did get Christmas presents for my two friends that we do the gift exchange with and a niece and a nephew. Just one niece and one nephew. Look at look what I got her. She's now at the age that's like really fun. So I think she's six now and she loves makeup and she loves vlogging herself doing makeup. So I got her, um, oh and she loves Disney princesses. So I got her a Disney princess makeup vanity and it comes with like, dress up stuff and like her makeup can go there. I'm very excited about that. Uh, I hope that she likes it. You know, kids are hard to plan for. You know, they don't like clothes. They don't like a lot of like toys where you do things. They like, like she likes dolls. So I don't know. It's really hard to guess like what a kid would like, but I hope she likes this. Also like all these packages I have to open. Oh my God. Why does the mailman spoil me? He's obsessed. Like, did you really have to give me that many packages? Wow. We'll open them later, but I've just been procrastinating for the past hour because it doesn't feel like fun to hang a bunch of window coverings, but we need it not only to filter the light, but just to for a little bit of privacy. That would be nice. Yes? Hmm? Husband? Just do my normal walk. His do nothing husband? <laughs> That's your normal walk? I don't like it. You don't like how long? No. You remind me of a Nightmare Before Christmas you, character. So you're one of those wives who's just like, oh yeah, you nitpick, you know? Yeah. Anyways. After I married you, my initials became Nag. Ain't that the truth. <laughs> oh, there you are. I was looking for you. Uh, Get out of okay. here. Oh, I hate it so much. Ugh. Oh my God, I want to throw up. I hate that. 
So I got these cordless cellular shades. These aren't the final things going in these windows. I just needed something temporary for privacy and for a little bit of light and heat protection. Um, they should be pretty easy. I've done these before at the old place and these actually come with templates. So it makes it really easy. Just a couple of holes in the inside window frame should do it. And yeah, pray for me. It's a freaking party, it's a party channel. <laughs> We can finally do things in here without people looking at us. Yay! It took fucking forever. I completely underestimated that. I still need to hang up curtains in Steve's office. Ugh, never ending. Check it out. Hello. What's up? He brings me Taco Bell for a hard day's work. By the way, your order used to be absurdly expensive, but the Taco Bell guys helped me hack it. Nice. You get the cheesy bean rice burrito, you sub the cheese out. Okay. Then you add tomatoes, you add the lettuce, you add the red sauce, and it's like fucking three bucks for two instead of what it used to be, which was like nine dollars. Oh, nice. That's yeah. dope. Okay, well. Cheesy bean rice burrito. Can you please recognize? Out. Thank you. My work. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So glad I knew that you were working on curtains today, by the way. Why? I was gonna be like, what are you, you know, be like, Oh my god. I would have destroyed you. I know. What'd you say about me earlier when I was all frustrated You're hard at school? Cool. Thank you. I find you hard as fuck. He likes that I put them handy. It's awesome. I'm a handy See, woman. See, you do all this shit. It's fucking sick. Yay! Yeah. He loves me. That's cool. You like my math? Yeah. As long as you get out of the house and let me yell at things. Yeah. Yeah. And scream at things like that. Yeah. I I was gonna murder that one. That one. Really? Yeah. I'm gonna. You did it though. Yeah. Looks good. I, I, t I verbally abused it and then it listened to me. I have no question that that works. Yeah. Sick, I'm gonna eat my Taco Bell hack oh, now. Yeah, Bye. I just filmed our last episode of the year with Shit They Don't Tell You. And I am so sore from putting up all those blinds and like going like this to drill and all this stuff. It's just, I don't know. I'm probably sore from like the whole week in general, but I really want to take a bath. And I got Epsom salt from Target today, and I really want to take a bath. So, I want this to be clean, and I read that the best way to do that is with dish detergent. And it, it makes sense because if you think about it, it breaks down all the grease and grime on your dishes, so it makes sense that it would be a good way to deep clean your tub. So I'm gonna do that, so at least even though the jets weren't working and I couldn't clean out the jets, maybe I could at least clean the tub part and clean around the jets and then see what it's like to take a bath for once in years. On this night, people have come to Okay, our tub is looking a hell of a lot cleaner, first of all. Second of all, I figured out the slow trickle on this faucet. Remember when Ray was over here and he said if we needed more water pressure to pull the valve towards us on the water filter? So this is no longer super filtered water, but it is much stronger water pressure, which is better for filling a tub up. So there's that. I also flipped the switch on the fuse box for the jacuzzi. And I don't know if it did anything yet because I haven't tested the jets, but it might have it might have been it. So we'll see. And if not, then we just won't use the jets. I didn't want to use them anyway. I just wanted to clean them. We'll see what happens. Day two of a tub. A little helper buddy. He helps with everything. He's such a good helper. Okay. Jets still do not work, but that's okay. We didn't really want the jets. As long as we can take a bath and feel relatively clean. I'm okay. I'm gonna drain this and I'm gonna draw a new bath. Thank you for joining the party channel. This has been quite a party. This has been bathtub party. I hope you enjoyed your time here. Next on the list is packing for a weekend trip party. It's a non-stop party, really. I had a Red Bull. We were up all night. Get pumped. Sabotage. This is the first year that we are alone. The kids have all 
That was every bit as luxurious as I ever imagined it to be. I am mind blown. I've said this before probably, but um, the bathtub at our old place was so shallow, it wouldn't even go over my stomach. So I was not able to take a bath at all. And I would always love like when hotels had deep bathtubs, even though it's kind of gross because a lot of people probably take baths in there. You don't know what goes on, kind of shady, but I would have bath bombs just for travel, but I would always forget to bring them. So I have all these bath bombs that I've collected over the past three years and I finally got to use it. I also used the Epsom salt and I also uh, brought this which was a, a body scrub that I picked up at Calamigos Ranch when we did the big mood retreat in Malibu. And at the time, the day that we checked in to Calamigos Ranch, I got the offer accepted on this house and I was transferring the earnest money deposit. So it's like the deposit that you make to show that like you're serious and after 10 days you don't get that deposit back even if you change your mind. Uh, so I put that down the day that we checked in for that retreat, I said to the girls, oh my God, the place that I just got the offer accepted on has a deep ass tub with a fireplace. I'm gonna take this and the day that I move in, cause it will happen and I was putting like positive vibes towards it. The day that I move in, I'm gonna use it. Now I didn't use it the day that I moved in, but you get the point. It was like, yes, finally, milestones, dreams come true. I also at Target picked up this stuff. Let me show you picked up this stuff because this brand, Soap and Glory, not sponsored, um, but it was really, it was really well reviewed on um, Ulta and all these other makeup places. So I wanted to try it because it caught my eye. I love the packaging. They have so many different products. I bought some for my girlfriend that I'm doing an exchange with tomorrow. This one, they have a, quite a few different creams. This one is a coconut and rosa canina fruit oil, shea and coconut seed butters, and vitamin A for subtle sparkle and intense hydration from top to toe. Ooh, I had put it on in the dark in there, but now I'm in the light. Yes, there is, oh, excuse you. Need attention, jeez. There is like a luminous glow. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it, it really does glow in the most subtle way. It's so nice. It's very soft, very luxurious, making my skin feel amazing, especially against this robe. This is actually Steve's robe, but I stole it because it's cool to have an oversized robe. It feels so snuggly. Also, I'm just spoiling myself this Vlogmas. This Vlogmas is just me spoiling myself, but I got this Burt's Bees Intense lip hydration because my lips have been drying out a lot since moving here. I haven't really been taking care of them. My skin's been doing okay, especially since I got that facial. Uh, I've been loading it up with skin cream, but my lips are just a whole different story. So hopefully this stuff works. It feels really nice, like really, really nice. And I feel so relaxed. I don't wanna go wrap presents and pack. Ugh, I feel like I could just slip into bed right now, but I won't because I'm responsible. I will wrap some presents. Maybe I'll pack in the morning, but I'm gonna wrap those presents because I won't, I never leave enough time to wrap presents. I can show you how the wrapping paper matches the Christmas tree. Happy Vlogmas. It's amazing that this is like the same cost of living as our condo. Like what were we even doing? I still feel like I'm at an Airbnb and I'm gonna go home soon, but um, yeah, this is, Wow, much wow. Let's wrap some presents. By the way, this is the softest bath mat I have ever put my feet on. It is so plush, definitely worth it. It's from Target, Threshold Spa Bath Rug. I got two, one for the shower and one for the bathtub because it feels so nice. And then I also got this runner because I just want my feet to be on it all the time. Don't look at my feet though, my pedicure is not there. I just wanna like live on this mat. Okay, I'm done now. Us making a clean getaway Not coming back till New Year's Day Let's go to Paris for Christmas this year